So Brian, what is this? Well, this is acid mine drainage. This is coming from the uh, historic mines up uh, in the hills behind us here. And it is very toxic water that uh, contains a lot of heavy metals. And it's flowing through the centre of town? It is indeed, and uh, it's flowing at about 1,200 cubic metres an hour, running down through the town, and it's very dangerous water. Brian Sheeran is an Aussie businessman who's travelled to one of the world's most polluted places to prove he can clean it up. Uh, we can take these metals out to up to 100 times cleaner than drinking water. So you're telling me you can make this toxic soup drinkable? Yes, and uh, we've done it many times before and we will do it here as well. Bayamari in northwestern Romania is called the Triangle of Death because it's surrounded by three factories which have so polluted the air and the water that everything in the middle is dying. It's a lot of children who grow up already with uh, problems, with handicaps. Mothers like Angela know their children are growing up with some of the highest levels of lead exposure ever reported. And Angela's 77-year-old mother, Sassaram, remembers when things were better. Sure, I'm angry. We don't have nothing in the garden. Everything is go apart. Uh, tomatoes, uh, everything in the garden. Don't so nothing grows. Yeah, it's nothing all done. grows. Hey. All done. The water in this lake contains toxic waste from a gold mine here in Bayamari. Last year, it spilt lethal cyanide into the Danube River. It was a disaster which focused the world's attention just on how dangerous the level of pollution is in this area. It also brought it to the attention of Brian Sheeran and his researchers in Australia. Well, I, like the rest of the world, was shocked. Uh, it was an absolute disaster and uh, unfortunately it's, uh, it's not uncommon. With fish dying for thousands of kilometres along the Danube, the Romanian government, which part owns the gold mine, called Brian Sheeran's company Viratech to see if they could clean up the mess. This is a huge problem. This is one of the greatest environmental problems faced by, uh, by the mining industry. And do you think the, the average person out there understands how significant an issue this is? No, I'm sure they don't. Uh, Acid mine drainage is not well known. It is a huge problem that contaminates our uh, ecosystems. And Brian should know, his gold mine in northern New South Wales was a disaster waiting to happen. That was until he met Professor David McConkie, who came up with a solution. As far as I know, it was a world first. By spraying a red powder called Borxol on the contaminated water, Professor McConkie found toxic metals like arsenic and cyanide disappeared almost overnight. And the water that's left was ruled cleaner than what comes out of our taps. The copper concentration in the water was over 42,000 parts per billion when we started, and it was 3.7 when we finished. And by any standards, that's pretty remarkable. That's a 10,000 times reduction in concentration. A natural byproduct of aluminium mining, Borxol is what the professor and Brian Sheeran took to Romania to treat the contaminated mine site. And after five days, the difference between the before and after was clear. Absolutely amazing difference, and it happens every time. And so you're saying now this is safe to drink? This is water that, uh, in terms of metal levels, is probably cleaner than the, the water you're drinking at home and uh, that most people are drinking out of their taps. Doesn't really taste any different. Also prepared to taste test a group of scientists from around the world who'd come to see if this Aussie invention really works. It tastes good. I must say it is uh, a fantastic progress. Uh, it's really the only solution to, uh, today, technically, uh, for cleaning up such acid mine water and of course the, also the heavy pollution by, by uh, heavy metals. Belgian mining consultant Falmer Bang Hansen. And as an independent observer here, how would you describe what this Australian company has come up with? I'm quite astonished. I think it's uh, really a beauty, beautiful thing. It could save a lot of uh, polluted areas and of course remove the threat to the health of uh, millions of people. Is she glad that the Australian company has come here to try and help clean up the mine? No, no, no. Yes, very happy. 
After the mine spill last year, this family says their cows died when they drank from the river. Only hope that we have now is uh, from the other countries to come and help us because our country don't help us. I'm very proud of the fact that we can uh, we can take an Australian company to the world with a world-class technology and we can make money from it obviously, but we can do great things for the planet.